I don't think Jackson's ever even introed an episode, so Jackson should take the lead. <laughs> yes, my first time will be on our anniversary episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of the official podcast. This has been one year, guys. One whole year of the official <gasps> podcast. So oh I've heard God. about every day from you boys for the last six months. What are we doing for the one year? It's coming up on December or November 29th. And yet, you didn't get peppers, you little bitch. Oh, I did. Mm-hmm. I said from the get-go I wasn't getting Carolina Reapers, though. Yeah, so you got, what, an onion? Well, wh- why even get anything? Anyway, okay, here's the plan. We thought about, you know, should we have guests on, and then we thought, no, we, we hate them all anyway. This is special. Yeah, so why not have the fans on? Because, you know, that sounds That's like a different fun. kind of and special. I want to feel like a radio host. I want to have people call in. I want to call them caller. So what we're going to do now is we are in Discord and we are going to use a bot to randomly pick people and we're going to unmute that person and then you can talk to us. Don't be rude. You should probably not waste your time asking Charlie to do his joke or anything like that. He's not gonna. Oh, thank God. (laughs) Try. (laughs) Don't worry. I got your back, buddy. Don't worry. Because I know otherwise we're going to get like 60 people. Remember, you might make your middle school friends laugh by screaming racial slurs, but we're big boy adults, and that's not funny to us anymore. You can still talk about penises, though. That's always going to be entertaining. Oh, yeah, penises, dicks, wieners, butts, boobs, all that is fine. Okay, and then, for those of you wondering, well, what the fuck? I was promised peppers. We're going to finish it off, the episode at the end. We're going to eat our peppers, and I don't know what we're going to say, but, you know, at the end, we're going to eat the peppers. Well... Jackson and I are going to eat peppers. We got Carolina Reapers, the current world record holder of the hottest pepper on the planet. Uh, I believe Andrew is... I don't know what Andrew has. Probably I'm in a second place. Okay, and Charlie has a little pickle that he whittled into a pepper shape. <laughs> so I want to I wanna defend my position. I want to defend this. So I ordered Carolina Reapers. I showed you boys my official order receipt and everything. I did it. Could be photoshopped. They said they would be... <laughs> they could. They said they would be here by today. Mm-hmm. They are not here today. So mm-hmm. in my haste, I went to my local grocery store and bought two of the hottest Scotch bonnets they had. So my penance for not getting a Reaper is I'm going to eat a pepper and then wait and then do it a second time. Well, mm. that's all fine and dandy, but I ordered my peppers two times on the internet to make sure they arrived on time. They did not. They did not arrive. So I drove 40 minutes, Andrew. 40 minutes away mm. to a little dinky shop out in the middle of Outback Australia to find the one grown pepper in this state. So I think you could have managed, <clears throat> all right? I didn't. I'm have, not impressed. Legit, to give, to give our listeners a, a scale of my dedication, I ordered my peppers a month ago <laughs> along with seeds and I planted them and I now have saplings while these fuckers are still waiting for their reaper deliveries uh, okay, that's something we've never mentioned on the podcast Kaya is literally Frankensteining new peppers into existence <laughs> crossbreeding the Carolina reaper and the ghost us. pepper you know Charlie I, I put all the seeds in the in the earth uh, and uh, you know almost all of them became saplings I don't even know what the, I don't even know the terminology. I don't know anything. So I, I, I t- got another pot, put one of them in there. That's going to be like my prime reaper, my backup. I'm, I'm going to treat that reaper well, you know, water it, love it, sunshine. And the rest I'm going to water with pepper spray. And I'm going <laughs> to... <I, laughs> when you're done with that, are you going to scream like how much you hate them? And just put them down and say, you're a worthless pepper. You'll never be anything. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I heard that you, that, that if you want to make them even hotter, you can like not water them as much and give them a little bit of sulfur. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, well, like a trick that I read online is you can get, take the heads off of matches, you know, the part that burns and <laughs> put them in the earth and uh, near the roots <laughs> I, I don't know if this is just myths and whatnot, yeah that, that but, sounds like some yeah. witchcraft shit do you also have to sacrifice lambs <laughs> do you have to bite it as quick oh. as possible to strike the match and put fire in your mouth Dude, do you I have to shave using them. dollar shave club excuse me what shave club jackson i believe i heard an echo on my end that uh, the spirits are trying to communicate with us they say dollar shave club shave with them charlie they're your butt wipes tell us 
Well, as a limited time only offer, uh, they're offering Charlie's uh, one white, uh, one white Charles, one white Charlesies. <laughs> Charlie Some is offering one white his aneurysm wipes. today. Listen, guys, if you're like me and you're sick of nonsense at the store, now's the time to try out Dollar Shave Club. And for a limited time, the DSC in the uh, underground that's known as the Dollar Shave Club is giving away their <laughs> shit shower. And shave starter set, which comes with, with a free, comes with a free tongue twister for only five dollars. This starter set features their executive razor and three trial size versions of their most popular products to help you sh- stay fresh and clean. One of which being from the aforementioned Charlie, his own butt wipes. That's right, shave Indeed. butter, body wash, one wipe, Charlie butt wipes. Kaya, tell him some more. Dude, you guys know Dollar Shave Club by now. Show them some love by going to dollarshaveclub.com slash official. Don't forget the slash official. That's how they know we sent you. Do it for the anniversary. Do it for everybody. Do it for love. Do it for the hairs you want to get rid of. Also, they, they sell gift cards too, so it's the perfect gift for Christmas. I would love to have one ripe Charles under my Christmas tree. Uh, I'll send Christmas them some morning. butt wipes. I'll take us on a different path for just a moment here. I'll admit it's been some time since I've ventured into the official Discord. I didn't know there was a bot called Charlie's Dad <laughs> that just tells people they leveled up and says, ain't that some shit? That's pretty yeah, that's awesome. there for a while. So speaking of bots, you guys want to get into this? Because I want to yeah, get as many callers ready. as possible. Yeah, bring them on. All right, I'll thank you. It's working. Tommy, you've been selected. Our first caller is Tommy, who should now be unmuted. Tommy, are you there? Hello. <gasps> Hello, Tommy. That works. It Hello, works. Caller number one. This is great. Holy this shit. This is awesome. Test. Moving on. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. How are you? Good. How's it going, boys? It's going oh, well. Fine. Tommy, how do you feel about white pride? <laughs> great. Love it. Oh, sorry, thanks for calling Tommy, in, we, Tommy. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling in. We, sorry to see you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you feel about being the first to be picked out of, what, 500 people now? 5,000? I didn't even 50. think I was going to get picked. Are you trying? <laughs> Did we catch you, you off guard? <laughs> if, if you want us to unpick you and kick you out, that's fine. We can do that. No, that's all right, guys. Dick in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one for the team. What a sweet boy. <laughs> Our biggest fan, clearly. <laughs> so, Tommy, what do you, what do you got? We're, we're just, the four he just judges. Left. He's oh. been, he, his time was up. Oh. oh, no. What? I just heard it. I, oh. No, That's... Tommy's just having a hissy fit on the internet. Tommy, are I you keep, here? I keep hearing yeah, connecting here. and disconnecting. Yeah, he's here. Oh my god, you have that noise on, Charlie? Yeah. Fuck. You mongle it. Go to Charlie, your settings Charlie, and yeah. notifications. No, even better. Even better for everything. Go click your picture in the bottom left and hit do not disturb. Boom, everything's solved. Oh. Actually, yeah. Yeah, <gasps> yeah that's, that it. turns off everything. It's bulk. Brilliant. Anyway, Tommy, my the, man. Uh, Go on, Tommy. Tommy, we are we are your American Idol judges. Kaya is the Simon Cal. I'll be uh, Randy, and uh, I don't know. Steve Tyler can be Charlie, and I don't know who Jackson is. The point is, wow us, my I'm, man. I'm what, do you, what do you got for us? I got nothing to be on. <laughs> this is so realistic. Oh. What did we expect? I mean, I'm not very talented. <laughs> oh. Well, Tommy, God. we we appreciate your input here. Yeah. Your support means the world. <laughs> uh, the phones are ringing off the hook, Tommy. <gasps> off the or, hook. Okay, Tommy. Oh. Tell you what. Uh, some somebody. I want people to message Tommy a suicide hotline, and we're gonna get the next <laughs> caller in here. How about that? Even better. Wish him words of encouragement, Tommy. We believe in you. Thank you, Andrew. No problem. <laughs> Stay strong, Tommy. <laughs> Thanks for calling, Tommy. He knew Have my a good name. One, guys. You too. Bye. I think he left right. the Discord server now. That's fine. Just bring on the next caller. We got Who's it. next? Rapid fire conveyor belt. Keep it rolling. Yeah, we we got to keep them concise. Get the the juicy okay, boys. info. Oh, all right, uh, uh, next caller. Ke- Jesus, what a name. K is the blue. You're about to be on air, and you are on air. Hello, caller. Holy shit, I did not expect to get picked. There we go. That's yeah, I can, hey, I can there tell we it. go. There's some enthusiasm. Sounds like he's falling into a septic oh tank. Oh my god, I really didn't expect to get picked. Honestly. Are you, are you coming <laughs> in straight recording? from enemy lines? What is wrong with your mic? <laughs> yeah, my mic's kind of fucked. It's That's a okay. PS4 mic. It costs $20. That's okay. All right, Sergeant, understood. <laughs> Roger that. I mean, at least I get to sound like a douchebag. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> throwing some. Can you do me a favor and throw in an over every time you're done speaking? All right, got you over. <laughs> uh, what do you got on your mind today, Sergeant? Well, I was playing Fortnite. They need to fix their fucking game. But <laughs> <laughs> a little PSA calling in to deliver the PSA. Mainly because I'm shitty at the game and I don't just blame everything on Aimbot, but yeah. Well, well Epic Games, well, you you've heard him. You've the heard him loud and clear. Been caught cheating I mean, in that Fortnite game. is too busy suing little children though to fix their game. Yeah, they're busy. They're That's pretty true. Open. That's true. Are you are you all caught up on this? How they're suing a bunch of cheaters in their game, and one of them is a twelve yeah. year old boy. Well, to be fair, yeah. he did abuse the system. I <laughs> no, haven't then, been caught up on that. Well, the best part is his mom is either like a lawyer or something, and she yeah. brought up actual legal arguments against them. And Epic Games just has no rebuttal. It's amazing. Because he probably used like a legal type of aimbot, like one you can just download. Yeah, or something they, like that. Yeah, their their whole claims was that he was robbing them of profit and in uh, creating invalidations of the game. But his mom was like, first of all, he just downloaded the program. He didn't make it. And second of all, the game's free to play, so he's not costing you any money. Yeah, like everyone's using them. And I, I, I've tried reporting, but I, I didn't know that they literally can't do anything about it anymore. Well, tell you what, how about you reset your email password? That's what a <laughs> tech support usually tells me. And Charlie. Tech support doesn't router. help anything. They just they just try to get to the next person. Like they just try to get through the day. I mean, I can understand it. Same as us. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you keep winning. Godspeed yep. out there on the battlegrounds. Thanks for calling wait, can I name, in. Can I, wait, wait, wait. Can I name drop before I uh, get muted again? Sure. sure. Yeah, by Go all means. It. Who's your lieutenant? Let me let me shout out my boy. God damn it, Amir. He's in the chat right now. There you Amir. go. We'll probably we'll take probably that Amir, him you soon. stupid fuck. Yeah. Got that Amir. <laughs> yeah, we'll be able right. to identify him by the walkie talkie. Case, we appreciate you calling in with a microphone that actually sounds like you called in. Thank you. And so thank goodbye. you very much. Goodbye. Thank you for All your right. service. Next caller. All right, bring on the next. Zinkling, you're about to be on air and you are on air now. Hello, caller. Zinkling. No, I'm good. <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's mandatory, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm doing sweating, great, so I'm going to take my pants off. It's not because you're a girl. <laughs> we don't know that they were a girl. Are you a girl? Maybe. Ooh. Who is your favorite Avenger, Avenger Zinkling? Um, I'd like to say the Red Power Ranger. Oh, I, I'm going to accept that answer. I'm okay with that. It's better than anything in the DC <laughs> universe. This is the first girl we've had on the podcast and we're talking about the Avengers. <laughs> oh, shit, really? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> am, I, am I the first girl? <laughs> I think technically, yeah. actually. Yeah. What do you mean technically? Oh, when have we is. ever had a girl on the podcast? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've even <laughs> come close. Well, I mean, Charlie's been on the podcast since day one. Oh. That's a good point. Roast. <laughs> not, I mean, the closest we air. ever got was that porn star who told us she didn't want to. She didn't oh, yeah. say she didn't say she didn't want it. She said she only had thirty minutes, so I turned her down. I was the child. What was the? Oh, I, who was the yeah. other one, Charlie? You said we almost got the other girl. Well, well I don't want to spoil it because she still wants to come on. It's just a matter right, of her okay. touring. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Zinkling, what are you what are you calling in today? What's on your mind? What's what's the big scoop in your life these days? Uh, nothing too much. Uh, there are currently two cats on me at the moment. Oh. What kind of cats? What are the names? Uh, there is Carl, and there is Tammy, and the other one across the room is Ninja. It, was oh. that three? They're not really a pattern to your names, is there? No. <laughs> Ninja and Carl. Yeah, yeah, Ninja, Carl, Carl and Tammy. <laughs> Carl spelled with a K. This is important. From depressed 40-year-old to poppy high schooler to a fucking Japanese assassin. All over the place. <laughs> Are they Japanese? <laughs> yeah, ninjas are Japanese. All right. Well, let's get oh, our right. historian on here. Zinkling, thank you for calling in. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No, not words. really. Just be cool, guys. <laughs> you too, <laughs> Zinkling. You. Take good care of those cats. Thank you, Zinkling. Yes, you're a good ninja. All right. We're about to have our next caller. I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. We should do this more this often. Is this is working so way smooth. better than I thought it would. <laughs> Was I selected? Can oh. I talk now? No. <laughs> oh, shit, Hello. boy. Okay, I'm not going to waste any time. I have a very serious question. Oh, I've had no. this conversation 
10 fucking times this week, okay? So, you know, as a kid, you like put all kinds of shit in your mouth. Not like weird shit, but like some good shit, okay? And mm -hmm. as a kid, I was like, you know, rummaging around in the kitchen and I found this box of matches. And if you sit there and tell me that you've never thought about tasting a matchstick or have eaten like the little red tip off the end of a matchstick, I'm not going to believe you. Well, believe it or not, Sue, I've heard if you bury the little red tip of the matchstick with a pepper, <laughs> it makes it far hotter. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so is, you said you had a question. You just kind of told us a story. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't like a question. So, okay, well, have you guys ever actually eaten that steak? <laughs> I can't say I have, Sue. Thanks for calling in. <laughs> we'll see you next God time. Damn it. Thank you, Sue, for your trying. I'm afraid not. And now you've embarrassed yourself in front of <laughs> hundreds of Billions. thousands of people and proved yourself uh, wrong. I'm sorry. A, a sold-out staple center heard all of that, Sue. You should yeah. be ashamed. Never, never can say I've eaten a matchstick. Anything Who's else? the next one? Never even thought about it. Yeah, okay. Sue ducked out. Thank you for real, Sue. We love you. Next caller, the official Snowboy. Snowy Boy, sorry, I almost said Soy Boy too. <laughs> official Snowboy, you're on. Hello. Welcome hello. to the Thunderdome, Snow oh, Snowy hello. Boy. Oh my god. Um, you you did it! Uh, it's going pretty good. Um, oh my god, I really didn't expect you picked. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, hold on. Um, he's got to pull out his binder of questions. Are you going to the Christian Podcast Questions dot org? <laughs> it's like episode one again. Um, I don't really, icebreakers. I don't really got a I stand, but I told my brother, my little brother, if I got picked, I would let him say hi to Charlie. So I'm um, Calvin. You want to go ahead and say hi? Oh, can you hear? Yeah. Hi, Hello. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Calvin. Uh, you yeah. won the lottery. You're on live. You did it. <laughs> oh, well, that was cute. That was, awesome. that was wholesome. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Snowy boy, so far you've thanks. already oh completely God. validated your pick compared to everyone else. Just saying. This is hot, oh, Thank you. That yeah. is wholesome. Just in case it starts going downhill, Snowy boy, we're gonna move on to the next one. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. You made my night. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Well, you and your brother are sweethearts. Yeah, thank, you, uh, thank you for getting lucky and getting picked. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, All right, thanks, next dude. caller. Let's see. It's Sir Autismo. Sir Autismo, <laughs> you are now on air. These names. Hello. Yo, I yo, boys. What's good? Hey. How's it going? How's it going? So I got a question for you guys. That's I, what I like to hear. hear it? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Bring it on. It's, it's hard hitting. It's very divisive. All right. Who is the best JoJo? The best jo Oh, I'm only on... It's JoJo's... I'm the only one that can answer this. I just started that that uh, anime, as the kids call it. Oh, is this so, what we were talking about yesterday? I, yeah. I mean, I know, I know about it. I just haven't watched it. So, I mean, between Jonathan and Joseph, I'll say Joseph. He's fun to watch. I want to say the crippled one on the horse. It's a uh, great I thought show. thought JoJo was the main character or something. Who's your p favorite JoJo? Uh, uh, autismo. <laughs> he hung up. <laughs> he he wasn't impressed answer with that, that answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I, I never thought wrong. they turned it back on me. <laughs> no, he answered. He but I, hello? Uh, uh, is, is autismo, Mike's your answer? mic's a little bit quiet. Yeah, he's talking to the opposite of a megaphone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have a very short So, um, yeah. I guess I'd say, yeah, Jonathan, out of any of them. Very unpopular opinion. He doesn't sound like a JoJo. Jonathan Joestar, He's fucking like nerd. Autismo, <laughs> you can Autismo, you can help me fill in the blanks. Who's the guy who goes, "Oh no!" That's that's Joseph like his, the, Yeah, uh, Joseph is probably my favorite from what I've seen. Beautiful. That's That's where I'm at in the, the anime. Th thank you for I'm calling it from Japan, Japan, Autismo. Thank you, Autismo. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, it's got his own Seinfeld outro. No, it's the JoJo's <laughs> outro. <laughs> Uh, nerd. No, no, How would you shit. not know that? All right, next caller, Scrolly. Shut up, Scrolly or Scrolly. You're on now. Okay. Hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hey. Welcome aboard. Uh, just uh, wanted to give some appreciation and thanks for the podcast. Um, keep oh, up geez, the finally. Work. Yeah, you know. Thank you. Uh, I it's about goddamn time. Yeah, but, 
<laughs> we work so fucking hard for you people. We interrupt our fans thanking us. We really are assholes. <laughs> I didn't say a word, man. You guys interrupt way Fuck too you, often. Fuck you, Charlie. Charlie, stop interrupting <laughs> him. Go ahead, Scrawly. Continue. Well, yeah, no, that I don't really have much else to say. Just still wanted to give thanks, and that was pretty much it. Oh, man. Oh. You're well, like that was a very late, cute. but thanks for the th- giving. <laughs> Yeah, are you sure you don't have any questions or anything? Any oh, stories? No, nothing to mind, honestly. I could give a masturbation story, but... Uh, Quickly. you If you can yeah. do it quick, please do. Oh, yeah. Once do? I, <laughs> of course. Once I fell asleep masturbating and I uh, woke up to my <laughs> hand glued to my dick. Ooh. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He was uh, masturbating uh, with super glue. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, not from fluids. He just put it on there and forgot about it. Yeah, for some reason, my semen was super glue or something. No, no. <laughs> The old yeah, sticky situation. I'd like to know that recipe. <laughs> Lots of pineapple. <laughs> All right, Squally. Thanks for telling us. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks for calling in, dude. Thank you, Squally. Next caller. I'm liking this. Hugh Jackman! Please be the real <gasps> one. Ooh. Hugh, you're on. Oh, shit, is that me? <gasps> it, it is the real Hugh Jackman. Oh, my it's God, it's real him. Hugh Jackman. I'd know a fellow Australian's shit, voice anywhere. So hype. I, I did not expect to get picked. Jesus Christ. Okay. All okay, you wait, before you continue, out. does anyone in the audience expect to get picked? No, holy shit, this is actually the anyone? best thing that's ever happened. I'm actually so excited for this. Okay, what so movie I, are you I filming have, next? I have a joke, and I have a joke. I, I've planned this all day, okay? <laughs> all right, we're ready. <laughs> you might you might have heard this one, but I, I had this one coming for a while, okay? So right. This is really bad. I think this is almost on par with the Boardwalk Burger joke. Oh, thank God, it's not the same joke. Okay, <laughs> what is <laughs> the sushi say to the bee? Wasabi. Thanks for calling. Thanks, Ola, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, you Jackman. Uh, Done. Thank you, well, man. just for uh, the uh, po- the podcast Blu-ray release, we're putting the Hugh Jackman quote. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. That is a two-time Oscar-winning actor saying that coming on here was the best thing that ever happened to him. Could he sue us if we did? I'm starting to regret <laughs> these guests. I don't. I mean, it's the real Shut Hugh up. Jackman, bro. That's All true. Right, Moon Zombie, you're up next. Next caller calling in from Texas, Ohio. Go ahead, Moon Zombie. I expected to get picked easily. Um, <laughs> Finally! <laughs> it's a bad goddamn my time. night. I, I was expecting this. I was like, obvious. So, um, I was a little late to this. My friend texted me. He was like, get on, idiot. Because my other friend had just, like, told me that uh, he found... Someone's diss track at my school. Some guy I don't even know. This is diss track, and he goes to our school, and it's called Baby Thick. And is, is I don't know what deal? to do with it. The, the, well, the, yeah, is like, it like a bomb there's... alert? <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, this kid. And it's it's it's. If you heard the song, you'd be pretty amazed, dude. <laughs> So let me, fill, us in let me, more, fill us in with more details. Give us his first and last name and what school he goes to. All right, so... Please don't uh, actually, don't actually do that. Don't I don't actually know his first and last name. Okay, good. But the lyrics of the song are... I'll, let, me, let me listen for a second so I can... So. All right, next caller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying I'm sorry, to man. get a nut. Wait, was trying. That lyrics, I'm <laughs> trying to get a nut. Is the first word that he says. Don't, don't yell at me. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my diss track. Okay, so my question is, uh huh. If you could all die right now, would you? Mm-hmm. No. Absolutely okay, not. Okay. okay no. I'm gonna leave Why now? would I deprive the world of me? Are you joking? Who's next, Kaya? Where's the bot? I at? guess he was joking. Okay. Well, no. I'm, now I'm concerned. <laughs> His last words were, "Do you want to die?" And then he disappeared. <laughs> all right. He's Adult right behind sh- me, isn't he? Adultish Gambino, you're about to be up. You are up. Hello, caller. Howdy. What's up? Hello. Oh, wait. Oh. This voice sounds familiar. Wasn't this the person with the cats? Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, okay. I have zero cats, unfortunately. Um, oh, that's sad. No. Oh. Did you expect any... to get picked? Um, actually, <laughs> no, but, you know, this is cool. Uh, I don't have any cool questions, but I can tell you a good drunk concert story. I'm ready. Sure. Uh, so my friends and I went to see Megadeth, and, um... Good choice. We, yeah. We, there was this area right outside the stage area with, like, benches by the concessions and shit, so we were just sitting out there while Children of Bodom played, because fuck Children of Bodom. And, uh... 
there was this guy just drunkenly wobbling back and forth in front of us, and eventually this guy somehow managed to buy french fries. Um, I'm not sure how. So we see him walking back in front of us, and some other guy is walking up behind him and just takes french fries out of his basket and walks away. Um, they, these guys didn't know each other, and french fry guy did not seem to notice or care. Well, <laughs> I'd hate... At least someone made some friends. I'd hate if my life was in shambles so much that people would say I somehow bought french fries if it's like a Herculean <laughs> task. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, to I, the french fry guy out there, Godspeed. What did you think of Megadeth, Gambino? Um, well, two guys fought and I got tackled two times, but it was good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I mean, sorry, Techno I've, Viking wasn't there. I've seen Megadeth live twice, and both times really liked it. So I hope you really enjoyed it too. I did, and I ran into my high school IT guy. Oh, oh boy! Of course he did, dude. Was stay he the away lead from guitarist? Them, creeps. <laughs> if only. More importantly, right. though, what do you what do you think of movement watches? No, um, next caller, next caller. Thanks for calling in, Gambino. Bye, guys. Thank Bye-bye. you, Gambino. All right, next caller. Wait, what do you mean it's movement watch time? Nick, you're on the air. What do you think of movement watches, Nick? What? I wanted to hear the other person's opinion on movement watches. <laughs> it's time to move on. Nick, Jackson. what do you think Adolphe Gambino thinks of movement watches? I think that their opinion's stupid. Oh. Like, that'll do it. What do you think of movement watches? I have no idea what even these are, okay? Kick him, please. <laughs> he, he, doesn't, he doesn't keep up with the lore. He's not a diehard podcast fan. Nick, these are the best watches you've ever liked and had and owned. And you, there is one on your wrist right now. Holy shit. I want shit. you to imagine. This is a guided meditation. Imagine a glistening watch on your wrist. You got them on MVMT.com slash official. It's silver, black, with a black face. And it's slick design. It looks like it cost you hundreds of dollars, but it didn't. In fact, it might have just cost $95 because all you had to do was go on mvmt.com slash official. You know, if I didn't have this on my arm already, I would go there and buy it. There we go. That's what I like to hear. But now we're cooking. Did, all right. All right well, um, I hope you lose your watch. And, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually had a question. Do you have any talents that are completely useless? Track on the movement watch, you can go to mvmt.com <laughs> slash official to get 15% off your watch today. I suck at guessing what time it is. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> the only other The only other useless talent I have is that I can, can masturbate without making a single reaction or noise. The don't come on your watch. That's not covered under warranty. Yeah, don't give <laughs> it that yeah. wrist icicle. But, uh, <laughs> oh, Ariana Grande, nice. Oh, we yeah. appreciate you calling in to preach the good word of MVMT watches. Thank you, Thank Nick. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Thanks I love you. Service. Thank you. you. See you next time at mvmt.com slash official for 15% off your stylish watch. Uh, Kaya, do you want to rock some movie titles in there or should I take a crack at it? Oh, please. You do it. I don't think All you right. ever did. So that's, uh, that's, that's mvmt.com uh, slash official. So that's Murder on the Orient Express. Uh-huh. Vertigo, uh, Manchurian Candidate, and Time Squad. dot com slash official. Boom, done. You've been preparing yeah. for this, Andrew. Uh, He's got a list. He was I, eager. I, I, like when usual. I asked, uh, I was doing do mental you, gymnastics. Do you guys have any uh, movie titles you'd like to mention? <laughs> because I have some. Because <laughs> I have a whole handful prepared. All right, next caller, Delta. You are on. Delta, are you the airline? Hello. Delta. Hello. What? Charlie? Welcome aboard, Delta. Jackson? Yes, Jackson. Kaya? <gasps> yes. The other guy? Nah, I'm just kidding. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, guys? Okay. How you doing? Not, bad. Not doing too bad. bad. Yeah. You know, waiting for this. Being cheered up. Um, God, wow, this, this caught me off guard. God damn so, it, everybody, so, please expect to be picked. You, I was going to say, would you summarize it as not expecting to be picked? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so, a question. Well, I don't know. I can tell mm-hmm. you a really weird experience I had. Please. <sighs> I mean, please don't judge me for this, but it was, um, for some reason, my sister got involved into some weird cult. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, 
don't 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 ask. At the end of the story, um, the guy finished and he decided to tell us our fortune and he told us that everything was going to be fine as long as we didn't piss off the spirits. So yeah, All right. that's my story. You did oh, you tell your sister. Yeah. Is that, that's the, that seems to be the story. You got sucked in. I, I don't know what happened. I just said, you know, you know, what's so wrong about helping my sister out, right? Yeah. But you didn't help her though. You helped her collect like skulls and herbs or whatever. All right. Did you piss off the spirits? I, I I don't know. You're pissing us off. Oh, Moving God. on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you for your story. Yeah, actually, the next one in here. before we move to the next caller, that story actually reminded me of a pretty paranormal experience I had not too long ago. It was when I was a child. I woke up one night in my parents' bed because I was super young. And I was convinced I saw a lot of ghosts. And these ghosts weren't just normal ghosts. They came bearing gifts. Those gifts were three free meals mm. delivered straight to my door thanks to the magic of Blue Apron. That's really spooky, dude. Holy shit. Did you give? Did they like give you a coupon to get any money off? Well, no, Kaya. Ghosts can't communicate with the living, as you well know. Instead, I was blasted with subliminal messages saying blueapron.com slash official, and I fell right back asleep. And it's you bet s- your sweet ass. It's not very subliminal. I went right there. <laughs> How was the message delivered? <laughs> <laughs> Did well, you just have Char- fever dreams of a URL? Charlie, I've heard that I've heard this in a play about ghosts of past, present, and future. I've heard that the Blue Apron ghosts, if you see them, they're the ghost of the three plans. The two-person meal plan, the family meal plan, and the wine plan. If if I had to tap into my own inner whatever board, the, the ghost summoning board, I would tell you that the ghosts are relatable and real and tasty, delicious. Here are some of the delicious ghosts. You can bake in your pan. Baked tilapia and creamy kale with frigola mm. sarda pasta ghost. The ghost of past sheet pan roasted pork. The spirit of chili butter steaks. And of course, the evil demon of creamy tomato pasta. So, if you want all of those, and of course, uh, the mushroom and Colored greens. You can go to blueapron.com slash official and you can summon your own ghost to your door and he will tell you no no need to tip me, sir, because you got thirty dollars off your first order. It's free food, sir, it's delicious. And I'm gonna make you feel good. Next caller, who's up? Alright, next blueapron.com slash official. Rack lo- rack lore? Holy shit, what a coincidence. <gasps> oh, it's- Racklore. It's our Holy favorite Racklore. Hello. It's Racklore. Hello. Hello. Yeah, how's it going, man? Hey, to give our listeners a uh, backstory, Racklore is one of our long standing patrons, and he has a sexy voice and face. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. It's good to see you guys again. How, how, how have you, you been? It's good to hear you again. I've been pretty good today. I actually did the, uh, you know, those floating tanks that Joe Rogan does? Oh, yeah. Sensory deprivation. I broke down and did that. It was, it was really weird. So like Did I, you find I, I interface? It. Well, I, I was trying to relax when I first got in there, and then I was kind of going numb after like 20 minutes, and then I was like, okay, I'm just going to focus, meditate a little bit. And then right when I was about to get out, I started getting like really hard. So like me and my dick were just like, <laughs> and it, was, it was really weird. Like I felt this like tugging. Oh, you felt this tugging? Everything was black. I didn't see anything. <laughs> And it was just me and my dick. It was the weirdest feeling in my fucking life. Is, is it true, uh, like, do, do you start kind of sort of tripping when you're in there? You can start seeing stuff. Like, everything's black, but you start, your brain starts forming images. It's really weird. Not really, like, it's not really easy to see, but it's, there's images, little shapes right. and lights and stuff. How, how um, enthralling is it? Because I'm worried about doing that and just falling asleep, like, ten minutes in. The first time you usually won't because you, you kind of get anxiety when you first do it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was about to fall asleep towards the end. But yeah, you just kind of open your eyes. You can't see anything and keep your eyes open. You'll do pretty good. Oh, that's a good point. Imagine falling asleep in there, Andrew, and you when you wake up, it's nothingness. And you're getting a hand job from a ghost, apparently. <laughs> that's what I thought it was. And Ooh, go to blueapron.com. <laughs> <laughs> so did you come in that pool? I wanted to. I was hoping that that would happen. Just like imagine it really hard and just do it in my mind. But well, why, why couldn't you jerk off? Was there not enough room? Kind of. It was, it was kind of small, but 
I was kind of trying to use my mind. Probably. <laughs> That's what were I thought you, it was doing. Were Turning you tapping the ceiling? Were you tapping the ceiling at full mast as you bobbed? So outside, they just heard thump, thump, thump. I was hearing thumping. I thought somebody was trying to get inside, but I locked <laughs> I'm coming in. Dick trying to get uh, out. Are you erected in there, boy? Don't make me come in there. <laughs> well, thanks right, for calling in, Reklor. Yeah, thanks, Reklor. Thank you, Reklor. We love that you. funny story. Have a good day, guys. You too, yeah, man. You too, man. Keep Goodbye. That, keep that voice smooth. All right. Next caller is Andyoha. Andyoha, you may now speak. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Welcome hello. aboard. Hear me? Yeah, what's up? Hello. Hit us with a question. A question. All right. Um, all right. I'm, I'm in first year of uni right now, so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure which one of you went to university. I'm guessing like all of you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. we all think any, it's like, worthless. Crazy. Uh, I mean, I am right now as well, but you know, we'll see as I go. Um, have you got any like crazy party stories or anything from the first year? Charlie. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm the, Charlie. the default party guy. I I guess I think I told this before, but the only really noteworthy one is when I, my first blackout drunk experience, where I uh, apparently oh, for so the whole good. night talked in a Scottish accent and told the same story five different times. And I tried climbing a fence and I really busted up my leg by falling over to the other side. And then I can't remember too much else, but I made a big fucking fool out of myself. Nothing too riveting except for the Scottish accent, which I've never done nor attempted since. Did you fuck that night? No, uh, I was a hard virgin, a real hard virgin. That's a hard virgin. Yeah. <laughs> a, a virgin Were you who's... in a depravity pool or whatever? An incel. I mean, Charlie was <laughs> going incel for a while, I remember. If I was in the official <laughs> Discord here, like, talking, uh, Charlie's bot dad would say I promoted to level two virgin because the story I kept repeating five <laughs> times was about how I almost lost my virginity because a girl wanted to come hang out with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh you were so close. I was, I was right on the cusp. She wanted to hang out once. Charlie, I remember still the day when you... Uh, came home once and we were still playing League of Legends well we are but like when we first started playing it in the good old days and you came home one day and you were so angry because you just had gotten a new haircut that you hated you know how sometimes you go to the barber and just they they, they fuck you up but you can't really mm. say anything because you're too shy and even if you're not too shy it's already too late by the time you notice yeah, yeah, that's that's the part. yeah, yeah. so Charlie Charlie comes comes home with this fucked up head that he hates and he also mentions that his face has been a little red because of his acne or whatever and somebody <laughs> apparently asked him if he had sunburn and charlie was so angry <laughs> so, i'd never came. stomped so hard in league all that aggression transferred into my league Dude, skill. you came home you were like I'm never talking to women again. I hate life so much. <laughs> Fuck this. No, Kaya, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. The barber just fucked my shit up. I hate this. I look like a fucking dickhead. You know, somebody asked me if I had sunburn on my face. I'm never... I'm uh, No, I'm not talking to any fucking woman again, any of those hoes. So he turned into a full insult. Oh, yeah, he oh, got yeah. Yeah, for like a little while, and then he got his dick wet at some point, and he was yeah. cured. <laughs> it, it it cured me right up, but that my day, league, boy, my was league skill. D- d- when I lost my virginity, my league skill plummeted. But for the time where I was the incel, I dominated <laughs> the top lane. <laughs> All right, that's well, a secret to being an esports pro. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for calling in, so I could yeah, remember the virgin you. days. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Andy. Andy. Thanks, Thanks for the uh, content. No, oh, thank oh. you. Oh, bye thank bye. You. All right, next caller is. Jeff, Jet F Bottom. Jet F Bottom, you're what? on the... Oh, whoops. Jet F Bottom, you're on air. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. clear. Hello. All right. Because I was definitely expecting to be picked. Um, So I'm really right. not a funny guy. I don't have many stories to say. I live a normal life. But all I wanted to do was thank you guys for, you know, all the hard work they put into the podcast. You <laughs> know, it takes a lot of time to do this. Especially Jackson and Kaya for, you know, having to grow a pair of balls to eat the, the peppers. Oh, that was really, it was Jack, so sweet up until that. Jackson, edit yeah, that thanks. into a 10 minute loop. Maximum volume. Peak it. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so I just want to say, the like, luck. So I just thank you guys so much for, you know, all the, the Twitch and the 
content you put out really helps a lot. It's really nice to watch. Can you make my job easier and just repeat that 10 times for me so I can <laughs> get what he wants so I don't have to do the work? Jackson has balls, Jackson has balls, Jackson has balls. <laughs> oh. Con- confirmed. Yeah. Thanks, man. Well, that was really sweet. Yeah, thanks for calling it, dude. I, Thank I, you, Jeff. We appreciate that. That was great. That was super sweet. And now, it's turn for Weeaboo. Hata no Kokoro. You are on air. Hit us. What is what is your favorite anime? Good choice. Pokemon. Hello. They're still muted. No, they are they? No, no yeah, I can I can not. I can hear static. Hata no Kokoro. You have five seconds to name your favorite anime, or you will be banished from Japan. To the Shadow Realm. No, they are they are muted. Yeah, they're muted. Hata no Kokoro. They must be muted on their client then. I have them unmuted. They're banished to the Shadow Realm then. Well, sorry. The Hata no Kokoro. Shagura no Naruto. Uh, Wakarimashita. Yes. Yeah. W- All right. Wasabi. Sashimi. Milkman, you're up next. Hello, Milkman. Milkman. M- Wakarimashita. <laughs> Are you <laughs> also busy watching anime now? <laughs> Milkman, what's your favorite anime? <laughs> what, Milkman, what happened to everybody? You're on did the it, clock. Did everybody Five join seconds. that cult? <laughs> oh, poor Milkman. His milk milk is delicious. Man. It's too late. He's missed his chance now. EA. That's it. Get him Eat out of here. Lactose shy. intolerant this is. Well, we're sorry, Milkman. All right. Next caller. Don't be a dot two. F- <laughs> fingerless Goblin. You're on the air, Fingerless oh, Goblin. Oh, holy shit. I didn't expect that. Oh, thank hey, you. Hey, hey, voice. Hello. Thank you. I got some uh I got some questions. So you guys are a growing podcast, you know that? <laughs> uh, I'm I just so. kidding. I haven't watched this episode twelve, but um It's good to hear. <laughs> you guys think you're ever gonna get like someone like Alex Jones on? Someone just no. so idiotic. Oh, okay. Not for lack of trying. I would love to have someone like that. Oh, that'd be on. fucking yeah, great. That would, that would yeah, be great. I would love um, to. Realistically probably won't happen. So uh, so another question. I got is when when do you think uh for the content creators here when do you think your channels are going to die That's or, always or, the question or, or on when everyone's do you think mind. you're going to like you know stop hmm. I Make think me. uh the, the channels die when the platform goes down yeah. I, I, well, it, then you don't have long but um <laughs> yeah it's a ticking time bomb <laughs> Oh yeah I think mine's it's been a ticking time bomb for 10 years now That's not true though I only use me blade he's still on the platform but he's dead no, that poor man. Rest in peace. Only use me, blood. I think not mine's going dying down. a slow death. It's all oh, yeah, you're, it. you're suffering. I'm sorry. It's okay. I do it for fun. I'm only getting started. So uh, I had another question, but um, <laughs> please go ahead. Yeah, let me let me think of this. Uh, would you guys ever consider sponsoring um, Vitamix, the blender company? <laughs> We're not Vitamix. sponsoring anyone. They sponsor us. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Vitamix work- is sponsored by the official podcast. <laughs> well, do listen, you work dude. for Vitamix? Is that your company? I wish I worked for Vitamix, dude. Are you just looking around your room and asking us for sponsorships? <laughs> How do you guys sponsor uh, monitor uh, keyboard? Do you guys want to sponsor um, uh, premium decor gloss decorative finish enamel? If you're watching Primitive Decor Floss Decorative <laughs> Enamel, we'd love to sponsor your pro- podcast or whatever you are. <laughs> so uh, so uh, I, I don't really want to support your patrons, I'm sorry, but uh, you want me to give you my credit card information? Yes. Yeah, you can send that on the show. Okay. Yeah. You can send that privately. All right, yeah, I'm bye. Six, and six, wait, wait. <laughs> Next caller. Ian O, you are on now. Hello, Great. Ian O. Am I audible? Mm-hmm. Wait, can I be heard? Yes. We're not you sponsored audible. by Audible. Please say something different. Uh, you are Blue Apron. Oh, yeah, Blue Apron. There we go. Um, go go buy their food. So I had a question about the... Con- two controversial questions mm-hmm. that has been mm-hmm. debated heavily Great. as of recent. First one... Um, if either of them is if traps are gay, we're kicking you out now. Uh, no, sadly not. We're not. Um, we're not fucking total biscuit. Is water wet? Yes. Is water wet? I've heard about that debate as well. Uh, Kai answered it. What was the <laughs> next one? Um, the other one was what is the past tense of the yeast? 
Of the yeet? yeet? What the some hell is yeet? Some people say yeeted, some people say yoted. The fuck is the fuck yeet? Is yeet? What the fuck is yeet? yeet? Why do I feel so old? People say online. Oh, I'm checking the uh, I've the Webster's one second. That. What's it mean? Yeet. Do you have a express? Apparently, the general chat is spammed by that. It's uh, really? a term used to express excitement, especially well, used in basketball when someone has shot a three pointer. I am not at all yeeted by this. Well, I don't know. What, uh, if your yeah. question confuses and scares me. Uh, I have no strong feelings on the yeet also, controversy. When is it? When is it socially acceptable to start wearing Christmas shit? I say Wait, never. Get, once actually, November is uh, over, yeah, think, or once Thanksgiving is over. Uh, we stick, actually had this exact tuned. discussion yeah. on the episode coming up. Fifty-one. Yes. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for that uh, one. Yeah. So we will not give away any spoilers. Fact, You're gonna, gonna have to wait patiently. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling in. Ye- yeet. Ye- yeet ye- for life. Yeeto. Ye- that was yeet. You got yeeted to the shadow realm. All right. Next caller. <laughs> XZZD or XD. I don't know. You are on. X-Z-Z. Can you guys actually hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can. All right. Thanks. You for are calling. a human. Yo. Hey, I'm What's actually up? really excited you, right now. Are you yeeting right now? Or yoting? I'm not. Whatever the fuck I'm that actually was? on lunch at work. Oh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what <laughs> are you? Can bring all your coworkers in. Make it a group lunch. Yo, I wish there was more people here. I fucking would. Group eating. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so group I actually eating. have two things for you guys. Yeah. First off, Charlie, I want to say that your Fleshlight golfing video you posted the other day absolutely killed me. I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. A, a little, uh, a little behind the scenes. Andrew was the camera guy. That is true. I <laughs> think I captured so the uh, lighting and composition of hitting a sports ball with a flesh toy. Absolutely <laughs> you really perfectly. Did. It was awesome. Oscar worthy. <laughs> All right, so I have a joke for you guys, and it, I believe it's on the level of the Boardwalk Burgers joke. No, I don't know. Hit it. All right. Yep. All right. So, what is similar between a duck and a teaspoon? An egg. Wubba lubba Duck. dub dub. <laughs> I don't know. Yeet. I will accept wubba lubba dub dub, but it's both of them are not a lamp. Christ. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. <laughs> All right, Go bye back bye. to work. <laughs> oh, sorry. See you next time. <laughs> next caller is ba- Bation Bisque. Bation Bisque. What, what? No, no, don't kick them. Jesus, I almost banned this person. What's happening? <laughs> Rightfully so. The reverse lottery. Did this? I cannot unmute them. I think they just left a voice call. All right. Well, I'm <laughs> All right, sorry. Next then. person. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're they're gone. They're not All on right. the call anymore. Newbish Mouse, you are on now. Hello, Newbish Mouse. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, 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 um, I'm I'm good. Are Are you a robot? <laughs> do we Do we just wake you up? What? Do we wake you up then? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Guys, I think it's a text to speech program that just tries its best. <laughs> it's, it's learning sentience. Which yep. plays Pokemon. Are you I right? don't understand how to. Hello? <laughs> uh, it, you. He, what, what? That was a laugh. Oh, I think he fell down. He's eating the microphone. I All think right. he's ASMR. going into the shadow dimension. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't understand Morse code, so we're going to have to move on to the next person. We'll send help there. Next caller is Ren X. Ren X, can you make Jackson stop the noise? Hello. I'm just fidgeting. I'm, I was getting back up in my seat. You're slapping Sorry, your d- ass. Does fidgeting require you launching cups across your <laughs> counter? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I accident. My coaster fell on the ground, so I was picking it up. Ten times. Your your coaster, <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> oh, I'm he's sorry. He's pong with himself, but he's really clean about it. That's even I don't a better stay point. Stay this desk. Why do you have a coaster? Really? <laughs> but that to not stay in this desk. Stain it with what? What are you drinking? Oil? Coffee? Ugh. Well, coffee. Well, welcome aboard, caller. What's what's on your mind? What's your question? Howdy, Ren. Do you like coasters? And I love coasters. You sound like a serial killer. What's your question? Yeah, are you plotting something over there? (laughs) My question is... I've got two questions. Um, My my first one is for Andrew, and it is... When is the next convention video coming out? The next time I go to a convention. 
No, um, <laughs> so the 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 Yumacon I do every year because that's like a thing that I plan on doing, and then MetroCon I just happen to be at Charlie's during the time. Um, I'm moving to Tampa January first, and then whenever Charlie and I decide to go to a convention, I'll do my best to do a video on it. Yeah, I heard that's Sorry. okay. Yeah, that's the best answer I can give you. I can't. I don't really have a concrete answer Schedule. yet. My, What's your second, second one? Question is- is for Charlie and is are you learning the guitar? Because I saw you was uh, playing the guitar in a video a couple of weeks ago. I ch- I've been trying to toying with it. Andrew really kind of inspired me to pick up guitar <laughs> again, so I've been I've been trying to get better at it. It's not it's not easy because my fingers are like a six year old, so I can't play a lot of the power chords. <laughs> what but I'm trying by that. When, it, when is the official band coming out? Very Ooh. soon. Comfort in the wipes. What okay. he uh, means by that is we sat in his room for literally five hours with his guitar just playing na 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 from uh, Papa Roach. Last Resort. Yeah. Last Resort. Okay, um, thank you very much, uh, Megadeth Reels, and fuck you, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> thank thank, thank you. you. My favorite caller now. Thank you. Proving caller. his worth. We'll see you soon. Fuck you, Jonathan. Thank you, Ren X. Next caller, yeah, Jonathan, you're up to defend yourself. No, it's Dandy Ruth. Dandy Ruth, hey, hello. That's- Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Unclear. All right. Hey, guys. Um, I just, what's up? Well, <laughs> Shoot. What do you think of Jonathan? Great question. Uh, of Jonathan? Was that the last guy? I don't know. <laughs> Is or are we talking? You? Okay. 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 I have a poem I wrote that I want to <laughs> share. Oh. I, wish Please, I yes. had a uh, background music that was like inspirational, but I'll just read it. <laughs> okay. One day in fall, near the end of 2016... The boys got in a car and made jokes about peeing. From burgers that are bored to Kaya hating everything, the podcast was adored by everyone with hearing. Now the last thing to do for everyone to remember is to hurry up and eat your goddamn peppers. This one oh, brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Oh, oh. Well, that was, that was like really that. cute. That was adorable. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It just reminded I lo- me of our impending doom. I, lo- I love how you just eked it out with everything and hearing. Yeah. Hearing, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, that was a tough one to rhyme. I, I had to think of something. You, you did yourself your into a corner. I did write the whole thing in like five minutes. Yeah, I'm proud of it. You. It didn't show, really. Yeah. Well, nice I'm glad work. you liked my uh, shitty poem. It was great. It's not shitty. It wasn't Don't ever call it shitty. It was. Who's had your approval? That, that just made my day and my life. There we go. Aww. Aww. Keep at the poetry. Thanks, thanks for your sweet poetry. Also, thanks. I want to make a shout out to my friend Scott in Winnipeg. When you listen to this episode, this is Danny. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, Scott. Yeah, fuck you, Scott. Fuck you, Scott. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks for talking to me. All right, thank you, Danny. <laughs> Good luck in chemo, Scott. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next caller is Ayak97. Hello. Oh, no. Hold on, let me wait up. Hello. 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 Yeah, you're audible. Go ahead. All right, Ask cool, us. Cool. All right. Cool. Cool. I had to leave my class. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's that's good. Professor, <laughs> I gotta go. It's a very important call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my mom's in the hospital. Right <laughs> hello, I can mom. Hear the hallway <laughs> echo. Hello, hello, mom. I I I don't have a lot of time, mom. But could you tell the boardwalk burgers joke? <laughs> What's uh, on your mind? I can't tell it. I'd mess up. Uh, yeah. So I would like for you guys to have a certain guest on. His name is Bardock Obama. He is saving the bees at Twitter. He said he'd be on and stuff. And I have a poll for you guys. A question that I uh, asked a few weeks ago. If you guys are interested. <clears throat> Hit us I'll with the reach. question. Out. Go for it. Yes, ask. All right. So you only got these two choices, all right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. So your mom gets stuck in your girlfriend's body and your girlfriend gets stuck no. in your mom's body. The only way to fix it is to have sex with one of them. Which one do you do? I fuck them both because I'm not a pussy. I kill them <laughs> both and get a new girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it's not uh, that difficult. Me, I... I I always go with the uh, the girlfriend, the mom on that one because you can always just close your eyes. What what if your mom is your girlfriend though? Th- then you kill two <laughs> birds with one dick. Then you got lucky, yeah. Yeah, that's how you break the spell. Still waiting for your answer, Jackson. I think oh, that was so his difficult. answer. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'd fuck them both. <laughs> Anything right. will do. I'd fuck. Is Jackson. my dad in on this? Can I fuck my dad? 
There is another poll. With, if there's one with your dad included if you guys want to hear another one. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could infer on, on that. You don't really have to tell us what it is. <laughs> yeah. Jackson's always yeah. down to fuck his dad. I'd watch my dad fuck my mom and then see what happens. But thank you for the, the spell. amazing well, riddle good man. passed down to you by the Egyptians. Have fun in class. Yeah. Yeah. Study ask hard. Your prof- ask your professor that. Make sure you keep up. Bye-bye. Why the fuck is he in class at like 7 or 8 p.m.? A lot of classes run at yeah. 9. I, uh, <laughs> Plus, I had a couple classes that ended at like 9 p.m. when I was in school. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chef Mordovask, figured- you're up. Mm. Hello. I heard you make a peep. Chef Ordovask. Paging Chef Ordovask. He's too nervous. He's a, if anyone knows the, the uh, real chef. I guess. Ah, <gasps> oh, there he is. Hello. Yeah, can you see me? Yeah. Yes. Welcome aboard. Yeah. yeah, what's up? Hello? <laughs> can you not hear us? Hello. <laughs> coming coming in nice and loud. Oh. Uh, I'd make fun of him if I was mean, but I'm not gonna. Well, I'm afraid we're gonna have to. I have a very distinct delay on my mic. <laughs> It's it's only thirty seconds. We we can work with this. <laughs> oh my god! Quick, ask your question. Hello. Now, give us. All right. Minute. Well, let's just get this out of the way. Yes, I would do it, but only if you paid me. There, that'll answer it when he asks. Uh, it. Okay, my answer is my cat. Holy shit! My ma- mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't fucking know. Oh. Uh, Jesus, this is quite a delay. This is like two minutes. Coming to <laughs> us live from a Weiber strung from Antarctica. <laughs> It's Chef <laughs> I can't believe we got an astronaut on the show. Yeah, Chef Wardavast plugged his tin can ago. phone into the fucking Discord server. Well, thanks for calling in from prison, Chef Wardavast. <laughs> He's gonna laugh That's... at that one two minutes later. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. Oh, what Next do you mean I'm kicked from the call? Laminate <laughs> Cash. Which sounds like a rapper. Are you a rapper, Cash? Hello. Cash. Oh, wait, I there think Chef Wardavast's question is coming in any second. Sir, Cash, are you there, sir? Hello. He just muted himself again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm I very sorry, part of Mr. This. Cash. Folks, Thanks for calling in, Cash. You know the rules, folks. You get one random chance. I'm sorry. You got to be ready. Floyd Money Mayweather didn't want to be on. E-I-G-I. You are on. E-I-G-I. Iggy. 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 All right, looks like we're going to have to edit out a lot of duds. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm not even the sim. <laughs> you have to be ready to go. Zola. you lose your chance, that's the rules. Zola, you sound like a tribe from, like, sub-Saharan Africa. Represent. Hello. Yeah, I am. Honestly. Oh my god, Ooh. we can hear you. We Fuck got one. Thank the Lord. I haven't heard another voice in years. Oh. Yeah. What's what? on your mind? Yeah. I just want us. him to hang up right now. I want a well-thought-out question. Hit us now. Uh, all right. What about a guest on the podcast? A recommendation. No, God damn it! That sure, works. Go for it. Oh yeah, my boy Clem. He's a uh, he's a Dogen editor. So Dogen. What, what's what's Dogen? Yeah, Andrew would know what that is. Honestly. Oh, I know exactly what that is. Yeah. Fill him in Zolo. Oh yeah. Magic like, the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. No, yeah, yeah, close enough. Honestly. So Same. you know, you know those anime titty books that like are just made by dudes in their basements. Mm-hmm. That's a doujin. Oh. What, yeah. what do you mean editor? Like uh, anime? Like does he edit the videos or what do you mean? Oh, no. He like cleans it up, you know. Stuff like that. What, the cum after people cleans are done? Up? What do you yeah. mean clean up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yuck. Oh, he goes around good. to the Barnes and Noble and just squeegees the books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gets to call himself an doujin. editor too? He calls himself yeah. an editor and all he does is clean up cum? Yeah. That's a janitor. That's not an editor. <laughs> Oh, sorry, gotta make sure. We should to, have Charlie's help, editor on <laughs> Sten Merlin. <laughs> to help Zolo in his time of need, I'm assuming he's like a type editor or he cleans up the lines and drawings yeah. and all that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He, he's the guy who makes the art on model inconsistent and all that. Right, of course. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you, Andrew, for <laughs> clearing that up of Dojin culture. We'd, we'd hate to ruin the reputation yeah. of the good Dojers out there. I just don't want it misrepresented. <laughs> so, uh, well, thank well, you, thanks. Zolo. Thank All right, yeah. Thank you, Zolo. Bye, guys. See you, dude. All right. Straight Next quick caller is That's all we need. Trinidadi. Trinidadi, you are now on Me? the official radio. Oh, my God. I, um, I expected this, but at the same time, I didn't. I, 
Hello. Don't even know what to say. You guys are awesome. I'm glad to be here, and um, my a lot of my friends are gonna be jealous. So fuck them, right? Fuck yeah, them all. Dude, fuck fuck them. your friends. Yeah, fuck fuck you, there. Steve. Trinidadi, if you're a friend of, uh, or if you're friends with Trinidadi, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I hope you yeah. lose your home. Yep, me too. Actually, it would be nice if I get their home instead. A lot of my friends have really nice houses. <laughs> you are <laughs> aren't you a great friend? <laughs> <laughs> He's coming on here doing a PSA. Come on, guys, just give me your house. <laughs> Came on the podcast to bolster do you yourself. Do you have a question right. for us, Trinidad? Daddy. Yes, I do actually have a question for you. And, um, I think Go Charlie might like this one. So, you guys have an opportunity to bring Brendan Fraser to the height of his popularity once more, but you have to have sex with each other. No, Luke. Would you do it? Why would I care That's about a Brendan Fraser? I, I care about. So you mean Frazier. I get to have extra sex with Charlie if he goes to the height yes. of his popularity? Oh, I'm in. You do. You, <laughs> yeah, it in. seems like a win-win. Absolutely, hands down. Yeah. No longer a virgin. Charlie, didn't we didn't we talk about this? Have an actual discussion on this where it was like we were going to a bar and I went, Charlie, what do we what do we do if like we get one girl who wants to do both of us? And I think you said we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, Andrew, I don't. I guess this is a good time to bring this up. I don't know if you even remember this incident, but I gave you my phone one time. <laughs> this was when I was still a single man, and uh-huh. there there was a girl that used to text me a lot that wanted to hook up. And you asked if you could text her about a threesome, so you did, and she said yes, and you never replied to it. Oh fuck! <laughs> I think scared. I do remember that. You got intimidated. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a, he didn't even ask friendly. He just it was the worst thing I'd ever read. He just said, "So Charlie doesn't want to have sex with you on his own, but I do. Can, can we both fuck you? Are you in?" I, I get straight to the point. What can I say? It was the worst thing I'd ever read. Just spit I roast the girl. Want to fuck you. You He's nicked her. To do it on his own. You nicked her. You got her confidence down with the first part, and then you just offered some redemption. She, uh, she said. Some- I, in Andrew's defense, she said yes to the spit room. Yeah, yeah, never replied. It worked. Threesome girl, if you're listening out there, get in contact with us. Okay, please. Get please get picked on this lottery. I'd love to hear from you. It would be a force. Andrew, would you now. try to one up Charlie? Yeah, would you try to one up Charlie? What do you mean? Would you try to like would you be self conscious doing it with another dude? Would you try to be one upping them and stuff like that? Would you I think at this attention? point I've already accepted that I'm inferior to Charlie, so it wouldn't bother me. That's no, not true. Yeah, you're much taller. Who is then inferior to Charlie? You could like take Charlie on top of your <laughs> shoulders and like give the girl a totem fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, tr- thanks, Trinidadi, for reminding us of this yes, great greatest occasion. day of my life. Thank, Thank you, guys. Trinidadi. I like <laughs> that. Greatest day of his life. Bye bye. Appreciate it. Thank you, Trinidadi. You, Who's we, who do we got next? But yeah, I, I think all four of us are for the revitalization of Brendan got- Fraser. Apex, you are on air. Predator, Apex, you're on. Sweet. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah. 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 Tell us why you think the American government was behind 9-11. Because uh, I can. That's, but that's I think the real good. question is, were you guys expecting to have me on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good question. <laughs> I knew all it was right, coming. All right, but uh, I, I, got a, I got a great joke. You guys love this. Okay, okay. Why was six afraid of seven? Seven what? was a registered sex offender. Six offender. Uh, no. Okay. It's, it's because seven, eight, nine. But why did seven eat nine? Why? Eight or eight? Because he needed three squared meals a day. Blueapron.com slash official. Oh, <laughs> God yeah, damn nice. it. I like that joke and I shouldn't. It's a, it's a real <laughs> thinking man's joke. There it's, that not, I... it's not yeah, bad. It it's not thank bad. you, thank you. Yeah. Did, did you make <laughs> um, this up? Bad. Uh, no, I totally stole it from the internet. But oh, really? I have, no. a real, I have a real question for you guys, though. Um, <clears throat> can you give me the details of your longest masturbation session? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, there's Ooh. been some long ones. Yeah. Like two hours, three hours. They're just after a while to get into that grudge mindset where you just you want to come and you don't want to give up. <laughs> you do. Get it over with. <laughs> the, uh, you the don't the want to get it over thing... with, though. You want to... I mean, you do, but at that point, your dick is like so numb and feeling that it's yeah. like a rubber in your hand. You've lost all motivation as well. Yeah. You're just tired. You're sweaty. Yeah. Ass sweaty. Or anything. You just want to come the and get only, up. The only interesting part I have on that was when I was a little boy figuring things out, I was practicing edging because I was like, oh man, it's going to make it bigger and bigger. 
and I edged for like an hour and a half. And then when I was done, I just turned around and my headboard of my bed just had a nice trail across it from just firing a rocket across my whole body. (laughs) Shooting stars uh, going over you. Yeah, it was a fun cleanup. So uh, don't try it at home, kids. No, no, please do. It felt amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay, do try it at home. Yeah, absolutely Hour try it. Sessions. With a finger in your butt. Yeah. <laughs> like, thank you, Apex. Uh, wait, wait. I just want to give a shout out to Seaback, Sue, Ryan, and Fizzy Bot. That's it. Thanks for having me on. All right. Appreciate the call. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. And next up is Princess Dork Lord. <laughs> Guys, I think this might be a girl. Hello? This is- Hi. <gasps> it's Princess Dork Lord. Wow. Yu Gi Oh card reference. Fuck off. <laughs> Do you want to date us? Sure. <laughs> Do you want to have Unless a threesome? Charlie doesn't want to fuck <laughs> you alone, but I <laughs> would with him. <laughs> have you ever destroyed your headboard with your own mess? <laughs> My cum is not projectile, no. Oh, boo. <laughs> Rookie. <laughs> Alright, so, so what's, what state your business? <laughs> That was a great way to start off this conversation. Um, so, uh, I have a question. What is your favorite map? You're, you're I'm, cutting I'm out sorry, my you're favorite cutting out. map. Halo 3 map. <laughs> I was always a big fan of uh, Headlong. I like Blood Gulch. Good. I'm a simple boy. Headlong, they remastered in Halo 3, right? Letter, yeah, letter. Yeah, yeah. What, what is our favorite one yeah, now? Magic card. Oh, 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 magic God. cards. <laughs> well, well, I'll, take the, I'll take the helm on this one. <laughs> Our yeah. resident testosterone god, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> magic the Gathering virtuoso <laughs> with fucking sparklers and American flags and enough. eagles behind him. The car's exploding. Oh. Please. <laughs> my arm's akimbo <laughs> as everyone languishes in my way. No, um, I actually... Get uh, out your photo. I I actually had to answer this yesterday in our uh, Patreon exclusive hangout. You had to. Uh, you took the charge of that. We want to move on. Yeah, nobody asked you anything. <laughs> no, one of the people asked what my favorite card is. You know? it's like, it's, what are you talking about? Everyone wants to know my favorite people... magic card. I can't just tell them that easily. What, one of the it's people laminated. in the hangout distinctly and directly asked what my it's favorite card is. It's in a safety is. box. <laughs> the bank. <laughs> so, if you guys want to know what it's like to be friends with these people, this is the most accurate representation. It's just, the, it's just the super box cool because the, for the for our listeners, for the past two days, the same thing has been coming up. We've been laughing at Andrew <laughs> for Magic the Gathering. I, I haven't even answered the, the question. I haven't days. said a single thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have. <laughs> but literally, what's funny is that it's such an easy joke for them. A fan will go, Andrew, what's your favorite card? And they're like, bah, magic! Duh! I don't even have to do anything. You've yeah. worked yourself you, into that corner. You dug your I own didn't grave, say but- anything about <laughs> testosterone. Well, we well, might, Andrew. actually. Oh, no, I you didn't did. Say in- anything. In the uh, in if you following podcast lore, we Matt, uh, Andrew had just come back from a vacation where he went to a magic tournament, and we were talking about it pretty uh, pretty even playing field. And then he said, "Yeah, there's a lot of testosterone." <laughs> oh, that was yeah, that was that was because for every like two thousand guys, there's one woman. I was building a magic deck when I was watching that episode, and then he said yeah. that, and I just looked down and was like, "Oh, well, all um, right." I mean, you, not, not, dreams, you can you can coincide on my point with this when I said that for every it's literally true, one thousand <laughs> men there is one well, woman. Just, that's that's just, the ratio. It's using one hundred percent true. That just makes well, it yeah. a sausage party, not a testosterone fest. I never men deny that. Shards. It is. It was your adjective. Same, the guys that you make fun of, calling them like neck and shit. Those are the kind of people that go to magic tournaments. Yeah. Well, it's not oh, the yeah. people. It's 100%. It's absolutely true. It's not yeah. the people that, that made it. So, so Charlie, you're telling me that if there were a thousand women and one guy in a place, you wouldn't call it an estrogen party? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'd call it that. It's just the adjective you use calling it like an overdose of testosterone. <laughs> testosterone <laughs> isn't an adjective. <laughs> well, you could have just said there was a lot of dudes and it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been nearly as entertaining or had a, you, a I lasting remember effect. Well, I'm glad that what I said was entertaining you called, then. You called it testosterone driven, which makes it sound like some sort of a <laughs> lumberjack competition, not a magic <laughs> card thing where they just fart and have ass cracks showing. <laughs> 
That's true, yeah. though. I would love to see, like, at a whole lot of I'd love to festival. see you play Magic. All right, what's your favorite Magic? Yeah, challenge me to a on. duel, Kaya. I'll save you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Andrew, just sit. Andrew just sitting while some obese fat fuck is walking up to his table. He's like, dead men walking. <laughs> I put on my fingerless gloves and bandana. <laughs> Are you ready to go? <laughs> I gotta, re- gotta retrieve my deck from the, the lockbox. I'm the, the only time undefeated bomb player in the tri-state area. <laughs> Andrew's I was some handpicked sort of, and bred. Sons of Anarchy Hell's angels get up. <laughs> <laughs> leather jacket with showing his Do you really want to go against me, the leader of the Reapers of the Cards? <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite magic card? Let's move on. <laughs> uh, Brass the Hidden. If you play the game, you know what that is. Yeah, yeah we do. Right. thank you for that. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank, thank you, Princess. <laughs> bye bye. Who's next? Please, <laughs> no one else ever ask me about magic again. <laughs> Please do. Uh, fuck me, that's my favorite subject we ever talk about. Oh, oh my god. Magic cards. Uh, okay, uh, it's Graydon Simmons. Meanwhile. What do you think... Uh, wait, we did all ads, did we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, someone's an echoey boy. Oh, Graydon, is that you? That is Graydon. I'm unprepared, fuck. That's alright. That's okay. Alright, um... Ask us anything. You'll be fine. We'll take it Please. from there. Oh boy. Take your time. Um, I'm going to start off here, and I just want to know uh, the story behind Charlie's Halloween costume there. Oh, Andrew and I went to the Todd, which is a sex shop in Tampa, and we bought... We were looking for really sexy costumes. I had already predetermined sexy nuns would probably be the best bet, and we found sexy nun costumes there that fit. The, uh, the, the downside of that costume is our other idea was we found, like, lingerie brassieres of Batman and Superman... But the uh, Batman one that is the opposite me, of a problem. So we scrapped that. Well, we couldn't fit into it. Well, Andrew <laughs> yeah, couldn't fit into it. Problem. But yeah, yeah. we um, uh, the nun costumes were great. I love doing. I also them. have an, an acronym. Okay, uh, is. it is W T F uh, I B F, which is uh, where the fuck is Brendan Fraser? <laughs> a question on many many intellectuals' minds these days. Brendan Fraser, if you're exactly. watching, stay strong. You're welcome to come on the podcast to remind everyone you're still out there. Please. Honestly, I'd probably shit my fans if he came on this podcast. So would we. So would he. Um, <laughs> all right. I well, fucking had so many questions prepared here, and now I just don't remember any of them. Is it bad? It's okay. We know that feeling. It's like every episode. You're Tell welcome you. to hopelessly type them in the chat, where we probably have no chance of seeing them. We'll, net, we'll let the that next caller like cover for idea. you. Th- thank this you for calling a, in, uh, Super Greymon. I gotta say one last thing. Please. Yeah, go for it. I got to uh, I got to shout out my friend here. He's probably getting his ass kicked in hockey right now, just because he listens to this podcast and I call oh, him a fucking loser on his favorite podcast. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> What's his name? Jack, Bol- Jack Bolster. Uh, Charlie, do you want to make fun of him for me? No, he sounds like a great gentleman. He really does. Does he? No, insult him. He, he probably yeah, plays yeah. magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has too much testosterone for us to handle. <laughs> He's playing real men's sport like hockey. <laughs> child's play compared to Magic the Gathering. Right, right now he just got checked and he's like, man, this hurts, but only half as much as when I and lose my Magic. very last question. How tall is Charlie? Because the five, official six. podcast website does say he is short but deadly. 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. Yeah, 5'6". Five, five, that's not that bad. It's a standard female height, so that's gotta count for something. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite standard female. He's a... Uh, He's 5'7 in heels, if that counts. Uh-huh. Well, I think he's normally in them, isn't he? Yeah, I, oh, wear, I wear big shoes. Yeah, he's, he's got to, you know, be equal with you guys somehow. Special insoles. <laughs> well, thanks for calling in. All right, Thank have a good you, one, boys. Thank Take you, it sir. easy. All right. Bring on the next one. Ne- uh, 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 Mexican bear. Hello. Are oh, you, uh, holy door? No, I'm not, sadly. No. Holy shit, I did not expect to be picked. I had so many things to say. Um, Hit us. First of all, fuck the pepper party propaganda bullshit. You guys want to... Uh, fuck you. Listen. Next thank caller. You. No, thank you. No. Uh, finally, a sensible I man. You guys, don't eat that shit, because I did it, and it was awful. Oh. Um, number two, oh. Charlie, I love you and hate you because people say I sound like you. I constantly get harassed in other discords for it. Oh, so, I thought you were getting harassed do, in real life. I don't life see it. Do, do your, no, uh, I don't interact with people in do, real life. 
do your best Charlie impression right now. I want to oh. hear. Yeah, don't. I get that. I get that every time. Come on. It's a it's a trap, Mexican bear. Don't do it. The real Charlie would never do an impression of Charlie. Wait, who's talking right now? <laughs> Son of a bitch. You sound terrible oh to me. You sound like a gigantic loser. Hey, you're not on. You're not wrong. This is literally the best thing that's happened to me all year. I don't know if that shows yeah, how shitty I am, but oh man, yeah. oh, you're not this shitty. Is the best thing that's happened to us all year as well. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be a guest oh. on here. Oh um, no, no, no. I was talking about the one year anniversary, not oh. you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. I was gonna call my mom. I was thinking either yell like a fucking idiot to get my mom in here, or actually ask questions. <laughs> 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 Can we talk there. to your mom? Yeah, bring yeah, your, bring your mom in here. She's the next bring your caller. Mom! <laughs> Talking to the official boys! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Put that shit down, Mom! Put that shit down and come here! Bring the oh, pizza no, she, rolls, too! She left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rightfully so. You guys were too late. You guys picked me too late. You would have got an interview with my mom. Oh, she no. fucking ran out of the house. God, he's oh, screaming he's again. He's going, nuts. going nuts. <laughs> Talking about the official boys. <laughs> uh, Mr. Anti-Pepper, do you have anything last, any last words you'd like to say, hmm? No, um, just, you guys don't have to listen to Kaya's bullying. And, bye-bye. Oh, he broke up. Oh, no. Oh, uh, the technology, it's starting to fail us. Someone spoke the fucking truth. I'm so now glad. We're cooking. I think before he broke up, he said, let's get to the peppers now, enough guests. Oh! I was, I was super-duper hoping you'd forget about it, and then I'd just make up a story about me having to leave, because it's been uh, an hour and a half. Are you kidding me? I'm going to take a piss, and I'm going to Hour and right a half? Back. Yeah. Yeah, we will be right back oh, with peppers. I look also really wait, stupid. Before we do this, is everybody here now? All hosts? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, leave this in. So, you know, thank you for everybody who, who called in. Thank you to all of you. This was fun. And most of all, thanks to our uh, Discord staff who made this possible. They wrote the bots that, uh, you know, the pick the people and all that sort of stuff. So thank you to everybody. That was fun. I liked you all more. Thank than you to everyone guests. who's been watching over the last fifty-two weeks or yeah. one year as well. So yeah, in case really appreciate it. In case we die, uh, stay tuned for season two of the podcast, which is airing when Jackson next week. Oh God, next week? No, fifty-two is next week. Uh, season two is the week after, so December eleventh ish. Good old Christmas gift. Uh, Charlie, we'll I have a request to you. There might be a new cost. Charlie, I had to stand up real quick. I'm sorry. What's up? I want you to wrap up our little season one finale here by eating your pepper uh, and telling your iconic joke. Ooh, like <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right, I can do that. Okay. Right. Um, we are we okay? Wait, are we swallowing or not? I'm not swallowing. You don't have I'm to. A, I don't know. Spinner. But this is this is this is. Tough enough. Let's just say you can keep it in your mouth or whatever. You don't have to swallow. I'm not right. gonna do this on Snapchat. I'm gonna have to keep pressing that button. Hang on. Yeah, just, yeah I, I, you can hold it. You the, can hold it down. I'm tell just me using when to the stop regular our, camera. Uh, phone or start our phone recordings. Yeah, tell me when to stop eating peppers. I'll just enjoy all these <laughs> habaneros. Well, you know what? I actually. Uh, hang on, yeah. Jackson, I need to remind you. And Kaya, when he comes back, that vomiting blood is an actual possibility for I'm, I'm, you. Well, we said we wouldn't be uh, swallowing. All right, no, so no I, swallowing I then. I'm okay Jackson. with that. Jackson, what if I accidentally do it? What if I'm allergic? Well, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, baby, then you're in for a ride. Jackson. Well, yeah. How do I know if I'm allergic? I've never done this before. Jackson, do this, do this. You listening? Yeah, I'm listening. To give people an impression. Rub, just rub your hands on your pepper and then lick your finger. Fuck off! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's that rough. Work? No, that would that that's like uh, dipping your toe in the pool before jumping in. It makes it worse. No, I just I, I kind of want to lick my habanero. I, well, that's I mean that's just kind of like kissing a jalapeno, Charlie. That's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we just fucking go now? I want to be done. All right, I I'm starting my up, finale over with. Shit. Just, my phone recording's on. You can edit this how you want, Jackson. I, I, my my recording has been going for a while. Are we ready? Count us down, Jackson. Let me let me just Wait, double check I'm, mine. I'm grabbing mine with paper towels because I don't want to get a, it on my shit. Yeah, I'm grabbing it with the bag. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I should not have. Oh God. All right. Are we ready? Can we go? Let's do an official countdown from you official and ours countdown. and all of all of everyone alone. Here's the 52 episodes of the official podcast. Three, 
two, one. Mmm. Those are too bad. Oh, God, that's hot. Anything yet. Oh, 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 I bit right into it. I immediately mm. swallowed. Wow, that's mm. that's a rough one. Actually, I might not need the milk. The habanero isn't nearly as bad as I expected. I hate your product. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't bad. <laughs> okay, it kind of hurts now. I'm, I'll, I'll admit I'm a <clears throat> pussy and spit because uh, I already want to kind of throw up. <sighs> oh. Oh, oh, I wish I didn't swallow that. Oh, God. I should have just wow. squished that and spit. I forgot oh. I have to do two. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay, I'm, I I'm doing two. It. Fuck this. Wow. Fuck I this. I this second one. After some time. Oh, God. I oh. swallowed it. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't even know what you guys are going through oh. right now. Wow. I can tough it I'm up. I'm going to rip my tongue out. Let me rip my tongue up, please. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Swallow <laughs> it. Am I allergic? Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I just, uh, I just threw up a little bit. That'll be fun. <laughs> Swallowing it makes it ten times worse. Yeah. Hello. Oh. 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 Uh, oh, I'm crying. Yeah, the joke. <laughs> what? Oh God, the I'm joke. still alive. I can't Oh, I was driving down. I, I, I needed to. I was driving down uh, I four with my girlfriend, and I saw a sign for a restaurant, <laughs> an innocent-looking restaurant. Why did I swallow? Called, called Boardwalk City Burgers, just a standard Boardwalk Burgers joint. Homeless people oh, slapping patties on the foreman. I think Andrew collapsed. Fuck! Andrew, I'm getting lightheaded. Yeah, there he is. I'm dizzy. Hey, I'm, with my with my razor sharp wit, boys, you're I not need, gonna believe I mean, what I, I said. Mean, I mean milk. You won't believe I need it. Ambulance. I swear to God, you won't believe it. So I saw this <laughs> sign and I turned to my <laughs> girlfriend and I said, "Boardwalk burgers, more like board burgers," because I can't oh. feel my mouth. Oh. Uh, I really took it home. A little remix there for avid listeners of the podcast. I'm a milk. Charlie, boy. shut your whole mouth. <sighs> wow, this is really bad. It was so manageable for the first couple of seconds. <laughs> I spilled milk. I spilled milk all over my pants in a desperate plea to get it into my mouth. Please help. I quit the podcast. I can't go on. My ears hurt. Everything hurts. That is the worst pain. Oh, it's coming back. This is for everyone that's watched so far. Ow! It's starting to pass. Alright, that's feeling pretty good, boys. How's everyone doing? <laughs> My ice cream's lukewarm! <laughs> It's laced with habaneros. Oh no. Uh, I feel okay. Uh, oh. I wish I didn't swallow, but I'm feeling all right. Uh, Thanks for tuning into the anniversary episode. Uh, how are you boys feeling? Let's get some uh, unseen interviews. I need that back. I don't know why oh, I that's true. How are you feeling, Kai? You seem awfully somber. I take... It's taking a lot of focus right now not to vomit. I tell you, they build them tough over there in Turkey. So, I think I think my pain is to where I can talk. Oh, fuck. Okay. I spit the first one thinking that I'd be used to the heat so I could swallow the second one, but then I throw up the second one, so I'm in a bad place. Can I turn off the camera now? I'm tired of holding mm-mm, this. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, what? Uh, no. I just filmed myself eating it. Well, so did I. 
Well, the point is to take the podcast home with the video. Wasn't that what you boys told me? No one's gonna oh, watch I'm me gonna... face first stuff my face into an ice cream tub, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. I was just spitting on my desk, basically. Well, what what what, uh, what happened to the whole uh, making fun of Charlie? They have these things called video cameras now. They can hear us in pain. Or Charlie, shut the fuck up. You're sipping. What what are you sipping? Oh, milk. I feel fine now. You're fucking drinking yeah, a cocktail. Charlie, you're a pussy. Piece you're of an shit. honest to god pussy. Yeah, I feel fine. <laughs> I'm so afraid to swallow because my throat hurts now, but I'm all right. Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, please be quiet. Leave. New host. We need a new host. This was a good idea, <sighs> Kaya. I appreciate it. Oh, Kaya, this bird's so bad. I know. My <sighs> mouth doesn't hurt that bad. My stomach is fucking... It's my throat. My throat just feels closed. <sighs> I'm fine with my throat, too. My stomach is absolutely revolting. <sighs> <sighs> Oh. It's not worth it. No. Oh. Not right now, no. Uh, did you eat it all, child? No, I just bit off the uh, once. It was a big habanero, so I just bit oh, off the on. entire side. I ate the seeds. I ate, I I ate. Charlie the took a picture part. of his pepper. No, I I ate I ate the seeds. I took it to prom. Like I showed it a good time. I ate it out. Oh, I don't even want to drink milk anymore, but I have to. Have you guys been swallowing the milk? Because you're supposed to swish and spit. How bad is it, though, Jackson? Kaya seems pretty calm, but you're you're falling apart. I am Please describe focusing. it. <laughs> All right, John Wick. Jackson, can you chime in? It burns like hell. Had sex with a fireplace. I, I, I'm, I'm sweating out of my eyes. <clears throat> my whole body is just so tense. I can't breathe. What is <laughs> I can hear the swishing. <laughs> now we're cooking. A shot. I'm also getting sick of drinking whole milk. I've already drank a half a gallon. <laughs> Guys, I hate milk. Yeah. I'm not Did you drink uh, any milk, Kai, or are you just like simmering no, on it and no, doing I'm advanced s- breathing techniques? No, I'm <laughs> sipping milk. I just, I hate milk. Yeah, I don't like drinking straight milk either. That's why I swish and spit, because it's better. <sighs> oh, my God. <sighs> Props. To Jackson and Kaya for... Oh, I can't talk. Ow! Fuck. Yeah, no, really. Props to Kaya and Jackson. They did the biggest dick challenge here today. My, my habanero was no laughing matter, let me tell you what. Shut up! You're still talking! Yeah, I feel pretty good. Please I actually feel like leave. liberated. Feel Charlie, I've pepper. eaten habaneros on burgers as a topping. Casually. Oh, well, that's different. Yeah, but this is like supreme habanero, like the the cream of the crop habanero, the 350k Scoville. It's actually yeah, it's said in the supermarket, perfect for Charlie who backs out. Well, no, it's a gin, like the Scotch bonnet you ate is the same Scoville as the habanero. I got the 350k Scoville, uh, but I ate my whole thing and two. That's true. You did eat the whole thing, but the yeah, Scotch bonnet, and two of them. It, the Scotch the Scotch bonnet is smaller than the habanero. Keeps coming in waves in my stomach. Gets better and then it's it gets hit my worse. Stomach now. Like each seed it's just is being chatting. digested. On the bright side, my ice cream has cookie dough in it to make me feel better. <laughs> Dude, would you like some Flintstones vitamins oh, too, baby boy? <laughs> I'm trying to say this without pain. There was a piece. There was a piece that got stuck in the roof of my mouth. And I, I couldn't get it out. And I was like flicking it with my tongue and fucking around. And now it's just searing pain. That'll do it. Like, it feels like someone drilled a hole in my brain from the inside of my mouth. What did your research say, Andrew? Carolina Reaper hurts for, like, an hour? The pain from a Reaper is an hour to two hours, and then about five mm-hmm. hours later, you'll be shitting it out really badly. Yeah. Great. Well, so you have that to look forward to. Well, I didn't uh, swallow mine. No, not so, you. Uh, Kyle oh, those and two, Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how long have we been going with the pepper thing now? About ten minutes, so only <clears throat> 50 more minutes. And it's only been better. ten minutes?! Something like that. I mean, the video I recorded, I recorded right until I started feeling better, and it was four minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, <clears throat> oh my god, there's milk all over my pants. Yeah, and the initial wave of my pain, I also just threw milk on myself like a fucking bad fireman. So I don't know if I got my point across. My idea was, I'll spit out the first pepper, so that way I'll be used to it for the second one. So I can get it down easy. But as I was trying to swallow it, I started throwing up. <laughs> So that didn't work out too well. Is that all on video? I'd like to confirm mm-hmm. you actually oh, yeah. throwing up. There's a part where like, you know when you like spew and it kind of flies everywhere? There's a part where that happens. 
Uh, that makes sense. This would be good for we could clickbait this real hard. Pepper uh, prank gone wrong. Vomit warning! Exclamation points. Well, everyone vomits when they do the hot ones. Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> according to tears. a registered according to a registered nurse, Kaya and Jackson should induce vomiting. But this comes from spanking Steve, so I'm not sure. Registered um, nurse spanking Steve. Trying to resist might. vomiting, but I don't know if I'm gonna succeed i think you should vomit no i i ate it it just are we still a, doing a face recordings because i kind of forgot about it no, what do you mean did you okay. what do you mean did you not I record my, the whole I, thing when i was no i did but then when i was like in cool down mode i put it down and forgot about my. oh that's mode. yeah no no once you start feeling better you have to stop recording well i'm not feeling better i think the I'm pain is tolerable now this, if all of you guys stopped so yeah that's fine. Yeah, I think we've reached that point where it's acceptable for you to have stopped documenting oh. the experience. On the upside, I completely <laughs> forgot about my migraine. Oh, well, uh, a little fun fact for you. The hot part of the peppers, the capsaicin, is really good for headaches. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I, I could have sworn it was the fact that I'm sweating out my eyes. Like, I, I did so crying. much crying, it was like, it was like there were pores in my fucking or- corneas. Your eyes got fatigued and started sweating, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel so fucked from this. Oh, God, I hate all this. I don't so want do you, ice cream. But did you actually eat Did you eat one, Andrew? So, the first one I put in my mouth, chewed it up for a real good long time, and then spat it out. And then the second one, hang on. And then the second one, I put in my mouth with the knowledge of, okay, if it's already hot, it's not going to get any worse, so I'll swallow this one. But as I was trying to swallow it, I just, like, started vomiting. So I did not swallow either of them, no. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. Maybe I have a higher tolerance to spicy stuff than I thought, because, like I said, we... Oh, fuck. Well, we had the same Scoville, and... Well, you ate, too. You eat honey barbecue and say it's spicy. Yeah, my tolerance for spicy is real ass. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even swallow it that much, but my fucking chest hurts. Uh, I can't Kai, breathe I, through I, my I, nose. I'll be honest, Kai. Yeah. I'm really impressed with you here. You've managed to stay Whoa. really composed. I have to. Uh, I'm not joking when I say I'm focusing. I'm almost meditating right now. <laughs> you I, have to, I have to focus so badly on not vomiting. It's a constant okay, so, effort. It's like balancing an egg, Charlie. I would be okay. I would be okay with saying, "Oh God, I'm I'm gonna get through this sentence without without cracking." I'm gonna do it. That the official badassness ranking of the podcast is Kaya in first, Jackson in second, myself in third, and Charlie in fourth. That's fair. I can get. I think that's that. fair. I think I'd like that's to totally think fair. if I if I walked into Kaya's room right now, I'd be three feet off of his chair, <laughs> crisscross applesauce, <laughs> with no pain on his face at all, just bliss. <laughs> <laughs> radiating Ugh. Ugh. fucking white light. See, now my stomach's starting to hurt from all this fatty shit that I'm eating to uh, calm it. Uh, uh. Mm. My stomach's hurting. Oh, yeah. Jo- yeah. Is Jackson uh. still here in conscious? Oh, oh, very, very uh-huh. important. We totally forgot to mention. Very important. Donations uh. and subs on <laughs> Twitch. We turned off the notifications so it didn't interrupt the flow of the episode and because we're doing the viewers and stuff. But to everyone who donated and subbed and all that, big thank you, big shout outs, big love for that. Yeah, thank you. Also, thank you for everybody who called and made this possible yeah, again. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> also, <laughs> oh, fuck. Dr. Schockenberg, yeah. Happy anniversary. Oh, him I and his wife. Him and his wife, Erica, are celebrating their anniversary. So we took, you know, instead of shots, we did peppers. Congrats <sighs> on the anniversary. Congrats. Oh, it's I good to hear from you, again. Jackson. Oh, my God. What did you do? Um, so I've now consumed half a gallon of milk and a good heaping of ice cream to try to make this go away. But now that my body is in rejecting everything mode and I can't breathe out my nose, I kind of, kind of want to empty my stomach contents. Uh, And also to the people asking where they can find the live recordings, Jackson's going to put them into the actual podcast episode on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, this was good. Anyone asking if this is worth it? I didn't even do the Reaper, and I can tell you no. Don't do this. Not I'm going to build up my... I'm going to start building up my tolerance. I actually enjoyed it. Dude, Charlie, Someone. the best way to do it... Go ahead, Kaya. I don't want to break your focus. 
No, that that was just the someone who did it. That right now, I want to say it wasn't, but at the same time, I know that two hours later, later, <laughs> I'm gonna know and say it was worth it. Because no, 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 proud. no. Seven hours later, because keep in mind, in about five or six, you're gonna be shitting pure liquid. Well, that, that's not a deviation from the norm. Are you now? What are your opinions, Jackson? You've been uh, in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Can you describe how much pain and what it feels like to you, Jackson? No. I guess so, that's as good as answers. We Charlie, can for. To, to answer your comment, a good way to build up spice tolerance is just put small spice on stuff like get jalapenos on this and that yeah. and whatever and just get used to it. I did that for a little while, but the then I stopped. The best is not to bother. Don't do this to yourselves, kids. So Don't do this. You know at how home. people, you know how people say spiciness clears your sinuses. I cannot breathe through my nose, and oh, now God. have a cold. <laughs> I can't feel. My throat's so tight. My chest and my stomach. So the only the only pain I have now left is the hole in the roof of my mouth, and a small part where apparently the piece got stuck as well on my face. Uh, and I, I'm I'm sorry to say I'm experiencing a little bit of pain on my end as well at the roof of my mouth. But other than that, I feel just fine. But I think I, I think I can tolerate it by this point. I think I must have swallowed a bit or oh, the spice uh, or whatever because my uh, stomach is bad. It's, be yeah. no, it's because you swallowed your milk, bro. I told you you got to swish and spit when you do things like this. I I swallowed some of mine. I know that, but then I threw up, so I don't know how much. Actually, I, that counts. I didn't want to swallow mine, but I immediately swallowed it just out of reflex. I took a bite, chewed, and like swallowed all of oh, it. Oh, you didn't let it sit in your mouth? No, no, no. Like I, I, oh. I chewed it pretty oh, thoroughly. Dude, I, it's just I kept I, mine in my mouth for a solid like thirty seconds for both of them. Oh no, 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 no! I didn't keep it in there for thirty okay, seconds. Ten or fifteen, more realistically, but I didn't. I wanted to get the full <clears> brunt of this. Well, we can uh, <laughs> wrap wind this down if you boys would like. We to. can never do this again. How about that? Yeah, How about that's you. what we do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you everyone for are we done supporting us thank you everyone for supporting us over the last year yeah we really appreciate everything you guys have done for us we wouldn't be here without you thanks thank everyone you. uh and also this serves as a great lesson it, you know it may seem cool you know you see the hot ones bad boys with their testosterone and magic cards eating the you know, <sighs> carolina reapers on the youtube videos but then you try it yourself and it's not quite as fun as it seems you know, the moral of the story is don't join podcasts my face is what happens um, Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you all.